Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick update and reminder for those of you that have been looking at using this thing here. This is my 3D printable gimbal for pan and tilt. Now I've put this one together because I'm in the middle of setting something up which hopefully will make you smile coming in the next month or so. But I thought while I've got this one out it's an opportunity for me to one remind you that this exists. Uh, thank you to those of you that have been in touch and actually provided enhanced versions of this. It's actually shared under a no derivative, uh, no non-commercial Creative Commons license because I've had issues in the past with people taking my designs and flogging them without any attribution, which was how it used to be done. Uh, but there are people who have been inspired by this and have their own version on Thingiverse. But I have lots of different versions of this. Now this one here is your very basic low profile pan and tilt setup. It will be, enable you to look from side to side and also down a little bit as well as up. And this is exactly what I need to go on the front of that nice big Reptile Dragon 2 that I looked at a couple of weeks ago. So let me just very quickly show you how to use the stuff on Thingiverse because a couple of people have be a little bit confused because there is a lot of choice with the different parts that you can build this out with. So on Thingiverse I have quite a lot of designs, there's nearly 230 as a time of recording, all kinds of different stuff. This is the one we're interested in. This is the pan and tilt setup and as you can see there's lots of different ones here. There is a photograph at the very front, uh, this is another version that I did for another model and you can see here it's actually made of two parts. This part here is the bit that rotates up and down, it's connected to the arm of this servo mounted here and then there is another piece underneath. So if I just scroll very quickly through and kind of show you this, um, this is one that was updated by Clemens, thank you to him for that. Let me get through to the basic one that I did. So this is the basic setup. If I just jump into 3D, this is what it looks like. That is where the camera goes at the front. And then we have the uh, kind of pieces each side. If we just go on to the next one, this is the piece that the servo goes in that actually connects onto the servo at the bottom. So this piece here is uh, one of the later versions that actually has the piece on the side. Uh, if it ever gets snapped off though, it's no big deal. You can just hot glue it onto the side of the servo. And the servo horn goes here through the bottom. So this is the piece that rotates left to right. And then over the front of it goes one of these, which goes up and down. And this is the piece that actually rotates. Also have a couple of other versions as well. This is... Um, for vertical stuff. So the way this is designed to work is this goes on the bottom servo there and rotates left to right. So this is kind of a, a more upright version than the other one. And then that would still connect to one of these pieces. So I'd recommend you probably print this one here. This is the one that I'm kind of using. Um, and there are different widths of this opening here to accommodate different um, camera width. So this is a 22 millimeter, for example. This is one uh, based at 19. Uh, again, lots of different people have redesigned these pieces so that they can work with different kit. So there's lots of pieces here. So the big thing to remember of this is you need to 3D print two pieces. One to go on the bottom servo that's going to give you the pan element and another one that's going to give you the tilt element. There are also pieces that you could just use for pan. So if you don't bother about the tilt and just want to use a single servo, they're available on there too. So hopefully that helps a little bit by showing you those pieces, but also giving you an idea of how you put them on to things like a servo. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. But do stay tuned. There is going to be more with this pan and tilt setup coming on the channel very soon. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.